Hi everyone, this is Stephanie. I go by StampJG here on YouTube and at my blog at StampJG.com. And today I'm continuing to experiment with We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen. And today I'm going to find out whether or not it will work with Yupo. Yupo is a bright white synthetic substrate. It's not paper, although I tend to call it paper. But it is a white um, plastic and it will buckle when you heat heat it with a heat tool but I wanted to find out before I went ahead and used it with my die cut machine or um, used it with the foil quill pen and alcohol ink if the UPO would be damaged by being used with the heated foil quill pen. So I have the Broadpoint foil quill pen here. I am going to attach a different adapter. Hold on. And I want to thank one of my great viewers for suggesting that I use a different adapter. Originally, I, when I tried this experiment in a previous video, I used adapter A, which is what I would normally use with my silhouette. But the starter kit, or the pens, all come with four adapters, and this one covers more of the barrel. So it was, offers a little bit more protection from the heat that when the plastic heats up around the tip of this. So this is going to heat up five minutes and then we're going to try working with the Ranger 86 pound Yupo. So for this I also wanted to try since in a different <laughs> previous experiment I actually ended up foiling my my black mat. I have the brand new Wendy Vecchi Make Art um, station and it's metal so it's kind of interesting so that I don't think it'll foil but we will find out the other thing is I can put a it comes with a magnetic ruler which is kind of cool that will hold my cardstock down and I'm gonna get some foil I have a sheet of dark blue foil from we are memory keepers it's their heat activated foil and I am just gonna stick it up here really my my goal today is not so much to go over handwriting because I think I covered that before whoa that sticks very well um, I covered what happens when you handwrite it doesn't do great but it doesn't do bad but I wanted to do um, an experiment first before I put this into my cameo set it all up and got everything going and then found out it didn't work so let's try it this way and then we'll see what happens these magnets are actually pretty strong they work pretty good the magnets that come with the make art station look like they have um maybe a felt or a, not a felt but kind of a foam a foam kind of disc underneath them the top is either metal or a plastic a plas metallicized plastic or something it and it holds very well so I'm gonna try this way instead of taping it down okay this has been heating up about five minutes so let's see what happens and I'm gonna to have to turn this sideways so I can write <laughs> sorry I go slowly And I can't quite see how I'm writing. It's hard to see when you hold the pen up like this. And then I'm just going to hold it on here for a little bit. Just see what happens. Okay. Let's take our magnets off. Those magnets hold very strongly.
Here's the result. The foil transferred very nicely. And I mean, I can kind of see back here where I might have put an indent, but it's, it did not warp the paper or the plastic. It did not warp it at all. And we're going to do a scratch test to see if it comes off. I'm going to dig at it. Nope, that is in. You know, that, that foil is on there. It works really well. Now I'm going to try one other thing just for the fun of it because I did um, foil my mat a little bit down. I can't see it, but I did manage to put foil onto my black craft mat when I went off my paper and it did foil and it stayed there. So let me just hate to do that to a new tool, but sure did. So just to public service announcement, if you put foil with heat, it will stick to metal as well as to a black craft mat. So be aware, don't go off your paper. So anyhow, this is just an experiment, kind of a warm up, and I'm glad it worked because I have a project planned to use the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen with alcohol ink in the digital die cut machine. So stay tuned. In the Silhouette Studio Designer Edition software, I have pre-created a design that I will both cut and sketch onto my project. This area here is actually created from the Paige Evans design drive from We Are Memory Keepers and I simply chose the one of the Mandela designs Mandela 2 I chose that and dragged it over onto my space and then I chose each of the letters these sketched letters to create the word rejoice once those were on my project I resized the Mandela design to just about three inches square and I arranged the words the word rejoice out of each individual letter when I'm completed this is what my my card front is going to be this box here is four and a quarter by five and a half which is a standard a2 size greeting card the Mandela design was one complete piece but I took off this outside portion because that's going to be my cut line for a window. I gotta line it back up here. Okay, so I've lined it back up. And I am going to sketch the mandala itself onto Yupo. And then I'm going to cut a card front out of white paper. So this this piece um, is going to be two different functions. First of all, I'm going to trace the mandala onto Yupo paper with a fine point We Are Memory Keepers foil quill pen. In order to do that, I'm going to go over to the send and I'm going to set up my tool and I'm going to put it, the sketch pen, I'm going to put into tool 2. So I'm going to start with the sketch I will choose heavy cardstock. Um, since we're sketching, I'm not worried so much about that. I'm choosing sketch from the action. And for the tool itself, I'm going to choose pen holder. So when I when my fine point pen is ready, I will stick it into tool two, which is the blue one. Now on this design over here, I want to choose what is going to be sketched because I don't want it sketching either the outside line or anything else but this Mandela design. So I'm going to choose that and I'm going to call that sketch. Everything else 
is all grayed out now. So the only thing I have that is ready to go into the tool to be sketched is the mandala design. It's very intricate and that's why I've chosen to use the pink blade or the ver the fine point blade um, sketch pen. <laughs> fine point sketch pen, we're sketching this. So now that I have this set up, I am going to decrease the speed a little bit. I just like it a little slower and I'm only going to, when it's a sketch pen, you only go through one pass and I'm going to leave the force where it is. So this is ready to send once I've got my um, Yupo paper onto my cutting mat. I'm making sure when I put it on the mat that I've lined it up exactly where it needs to go. And we will go over to the Cameo and get ready to sketch this onto Yupo. So let's see what happens. Okay, over at my Cameo, I have a five by seven inch piece of Yupo paper that I've um, put an alcohol ink pattern on the background. It is fully dry. I've let it dry overnight. I wanted to be sure that none of it was liquid or wet. I didn't want to send it through my machine um, and possibly get alcohol ink on the machine. So I'm going to load this into my Cameo. And the only reason why I have taped down my background is that my mat is starting to lose its stick just a little bit and I want to be sure this stays in place when I start um, sketching. So let's get some foil. And I'm using the foil that um, came in my starter kit still. I have not purchased any additional gold foil. And I only need a piece that's going to cover the center about three, three and a half inches. Oh, I'm going to get foil everywhere. I'm going to go take this off to the side away from my sticky mat because we can see what happens when you get foil on your mat. It looks pretty, but it's a pain. So I'm going to go cut a piece away from my sticky mat. I have the fine point, ow, very hot fine point. We are Memory Keepers foil quill pen. It's in the collar that goes with the adapter that goes with the silhouette machine. I'm plugging it into a power source, which is a cell phone power adapter, and I'm putting it into tool two. Now, my mat is set up. I've got foil onto my project and taped down. My project is taped down. I think we're ready to send. So here's what it looks like before I take the foil off. Honestly, that in itself is very beautiful. So let's see when I remove the foil. See there's a little bit of a little bit of damage here. Probably should have unstickied it a little bit, but let's and here's the result on an alcohol inked background of Yupo. It is absolutely beautiful. It's very delicate. I'm kind of half thinking maybe I could have used the other pen nib, the medium, the standard point. I'm not sure. There are a couple of spaces that don't look like it transferred as great as I would like up in here. I'm not sure what caused that, but overall, nope, they transferred okay. It just looks a different on a different angle. On this angle, you 
can see it, but on this angle it doesn't. See there's foil there, but for some reason at a different angle it looks funny. So let's take this off the mat. Okay, so let's finish the rest of the card and we can see what it looks like. Okay, back at the software, we have sketched our design onto our project and now it's time to cut out the rest of the card on white cardstock. I am going to switch my tools back over to tool one and it's set to cut. I'm using auto blade right now and now I need to select what is cut and what is not. So this right here is no cut. This right here is cut. And this right here is cut. I have grouped these letters together. That's They're considered one piece. So that's why I'm able to do that. And I am going to cut the edge. Okay, now that I've selected everything that I want to cut, I'm going to go ahead and look at my settings. I've got it set to heavy cardstock, which I'm using Nina Solar White 80 pound cardstock for this, so this should be a fine setting. Setting 7, speed 1, force of 33, 2 passes, I think that should be fine. And I'm going to go ahead and send it. is done. I'm not sure what happened here. On the second pass it messed up the middle. Interesting. However, let's see what happens. So let me finish the card front and I will be right back. To finish the card I created a cross image the same way I did the Mandela. I sketched it with the we are Memory Keepers foil quilt pen and then I cut it out. I popped up the front of the card on foam tape and adhered it over the background that I created with alcohol ink. I had to make sure I got all the little pieces for the R and the O in place. I then attached the cross image also on foam tape over the Mandela image on the front of the card adhered the card front to a card base and then finally attached a little Swarovski crystal. Well thank you for joining me today. I wish you all great joy at Easter as we remember Christ's death and celebrate his resurrection. We rejoice because God proved once and for all that he is for us. Have a great Easter and I will see you in a video soon.